Welcome back, folks. I am John Najarian. This is the final uh, three at three because uh, ahead of Christmas, that is, because we will not trade tomorrow. If that's news to you, I'm happy to break that news to you. Um, and I wanted to wish all of you a very safe and happy holidays. Um, if you celebrate Christmas as I do, Merry Christmas. All right, let's get started with today's three at three for the 23rd of December, 2021. Unusual option activity is where we see activity sort of like the stuff going on behind me back here. Something that's unusual, um, something that uh, we want to follow. And just as NORAD will be following Santa across the screens tomorrow night, I will and Pete will, our team will, be following the unusual option activity as it occurs. That's combinations of massive buying of calls or massive buying of puts, one's bullish, one's bearish. And uh, we will also follow sentiment scans in many cases to find where the unusual activity lies. Yesterday, I told you about Microsoft, Mr. Softy. Uh, the stock was 329.50. Uh, Pete did this one, I believe, on the halftime report as well yesterday. Um, 13,000, uh, 23rd of December, 330 calls were traded. Now, those calls went from a dollar, where they were trading yesterday, to $6.35. In fact, if you got the high of the day uh, on your sale of the stock, I guess you could have got 336.39. So, in other words, the things that were purchased for a dollar went to over $6. And let me see if uh, Microsoft has broken even higher than that. No, it looks like that's still the high of the day so far today, 336.39. Quite a winner though, to have a 6X bang into the holiday. But wait, as Mr. Ron Popeil, who has passed away, wait, there's more. And there is. Alcoa, talked about it yesterday, 5882 was the stock. 10,000 of the two week out calls were purchased. The January 60s, $1 out of the money? Well, not anymore because oh, um, the stock traded over $60.50 today, holding on to about $59.94 uh, uh, as we go into our final hour of trade. Uh, and that, my friends, is also a big bang. And we have more time for this one to play out still because these are the 7th of January expiration calls. If you would, folks, like to uh, give your gift to a friend, loved one, grandson, granddaughter, son, daughter, uh, grandpa, grandma, whatever it might be, um, you can get this live stream every day. Because every business day, we bring you unusual option activity. And if you are a subscriber to any of the three unusual option activities, you get the benefit of getting this live. Otherwise, you're getting it at the end of day. Now, there's nothing wrong with getting it at the end of day, but if you can get it live, you still have time to react to it with options. At the end of day, you can only react to stock uh, and then set yourself up for the following trading day um, if you so desire. But if you'd like to get it live, all you've got to do is join at marketrebellion.com forward slash UOA live. Again, marketrebellion.com forward slash UOA live. You get trading community, you get live webinars, you get weekly trade ideas, all of that, and this show live. So if you want all that, dial up 888-809-8058. That's 888-809-8058. And you can sign up for it. Give it as a gift. We encourage you. Thank you for your support. All right. Frank Holland, a friend of mine, was... Uh, hosting the halftime report for the judge today. Did a great job. Uh, as he introduced me for unusual option activity today, 
That's the screenshot you see on your screen there. And the first one I did was Bausch Health. You remember, I'm sure, the former Bausch and Loam. Um, they were buying uh, calls that expire on January 7th. Which calls? Well, let's take a look. BHC Jan 7th expiration 29 calls with the stock at $28. So you could elect to follow that. Uh, let's see where BHC um, trading at 28 right now. Um, those Gen 7, 28 calls, let me give you a read on where those are right now. Gen 7, 29 calls uh, are trading for 70 cents. The 28 calls, which are then um, uh, right at the money, are trading for 105. Bang. That's the first of today's three at three. Let's go on to number two. Number two on our hit parade today is Las Vegas Sands, LVS. So LVS benefited from, of course, the uh, cessation of uh, attack by the Chinese uh, Communist Party against Macau uh, and their gaming activities. That went on for about 45 days and on and off by the way, this year. As you see, shares of Las Vegas Sands are trading just over half of their high of the year. High of the year was right around 69 bucks a share. Stock was trading 38. Well, now the stock's 38.45, and they were buying December uh, 40 strike calls. Which ones? Well, next week expiration. One week and one day, because of course, as I said, Top of the broadcast, we don't trade tomorrow, uh, the 24th. So a week from tomorrow is when these expire. That's why I say a week and a day. Las Vegas Sands, 3880. Um, they were buying 5,000 of those calls um, December 40s. Bang. Third and final of our three at three is Fubo TV. F U B O is the symbol. Stock was $17.35, F-U-B-O. That's what it was when I was on the halftime. It is still uh, over 17. Uh, it's now trading 17.63 at uh, into the final hour of trade. So if you were somebody who was a subscriber and you heard about these January 21 calls trading, you'd already be up more than a buck in the stock because the stock was six. 1650 when we posted it for our subscribers this morning. Stock has run, as I say, to 1760, a full dollar higher than where it was. And 7,000 of those January 21s, well, let's say that you are somebody that didn't want to trade um, the uh, January 21 calls. Let's say that you were somebody that wanted to instead trade an at the money call, like the 16s or the 1750s. Um, the 16s right now, as of this broadcast, are trading $2.60. Uh, you could sell the uh, 21 calls against them for 76 cents. So 260 minus 76, you get the idea you could be in a spread um, between 16 and 21 if you did that, which would be um, basically $5 spread, 16 to 21 differential there, $5. And you'd be paying a um, little over, well, let's call it a buck and a half for that spread. So you'd have a lot of upside potential in this one. If you chose to buy the 1750s right now, those are offered at 180. And again, if you sold the others for 76, um, you'd basically be putting on something for about a buck that could go to um, 350 uh, because differential between 1750 and 21, $3.50. All right, so those are our three trades today, Bausch, LVS, and Fubo. If you would like to join and learn a lot more about trading stocks, options, futures, cryptocurrencies, we'd encourage you to check out marketrebellion.com forward slash get started because we have beginning, 
intermediate and advanced classes. Um, and these are not classes where you will have to attend at a certain time. If you'd like to avail yourself of the webinars that we do, even those are recorded. So there's no necess it's not necessary that you have to be there live. Most of the learning that we have is what we call distance learning, meaning you can open up your laptop, look at it on the plane, open up your computer at home, um, go through uh, chapter by chapter um, with interactivity where we actually give you a test to make sure that you know what you think you know before you move on to the next chapter. Um, that's because we want you to really understand the possibilities as well as the risks in trading. So encourage you to go to marketrebellion.com forward slash get started. That's marketrebellion.com forward slash get started. That's going to do it for me today, folks. I have Tom Lee to host uh, in about, uh, what, uh, 40 minutes, 50 minutes from now. Tom Lee is coming on our roundtable if you go to marketrebellion.com, you can probably still sign up, but you don't have much time because we have to mail you out a code, email you out a code to get you in, as over 9,000 of you have already signed up. Tom Lee will be giving his outlook for 2022. If you want to see that live, by all means, go over to marketrebellion.com and check it out. Thank you. Have a great afternoon, and I'll see you on the roundtable, or I'll see you next week.